What's up, YouTube? Today, it's going to be the first video to a whole line of videos I plan on doing called Creature Feature. And today's video is going to be about elongated tortoises. Elongated tortoise, one of my favorite and most underrated tortoises out there now. Besides the red footed tortoises and the pancake tortoise and the Russians. But no, I'm just playing. But like the long the elongated tortoise don't get his fair due when it comes to um care videos on YouTube. I mean I feel like they starting to grow in the they starting to slow people have them but not you you hear about Russian tortoises and red foot tortoises before you hear about elongated tortoises. And I also feel like yeah, elongated tortoises is to me is a perfect apartment tortoise for a person. Or even a house. They don't get to they're medium sized tortoise, get up between ten to twelve to thirteen inches. Perfect. But yeah, I feel like I had to make this video. I'm sorry about saying these tortoises, elongated tortoises go by a lot of names. Um, they go by the yellowback tortoise, the pumpkin tortoise, the pineapple tortoise, the red nose tortoise. Anything of a, a red nose tortoise, and a yellow tortoise. A lot of names. A lot of names. But um, like I said they go by these different names. You can find these tortoises in a while. You can find them in South Southeast Asia, India, and Southern China. What I said, they also said they could be found in Nepal. Um, they get up to the size of 10 to 12 inches, some um, 13 inches. And they come in the color that their shells, shell and skin, they come in into two different colors. You can see them in like a charcoal black, charcoal gray, all the way up to a high yellow skin tone or shell tone. That's the word, shell tone. Of course, like any other turtle or tortoises, when it comes to housing animals, you're going to need your UVB, your heat bulb, your tortoise table, tortoise tub, even aquarium, depending on your type. But, um, mines, I like to house, and I got them in a, in basically a concrete mixing tub for now. I got, they set up at Home Depot and Lowe's, but they're basically in that for now. Decent size for two elongated tortoises, but of course I'm going to upgrade them in the near future. Then I'm going to get my, um, the medium size waterland tub, but that's probably for another two years. But definitely um, get the large black mixing tub from Home Depot Lowe's, it's perfect for them. Get your heat lamp, get your UVB bulb. When it comes to the bedding, you want to get, um, I use a mixture of the z -Mat Echo Earth, Rectile Bark, and some um moss the moss oh my god i like you man and extra turtle but some of this stuff you can find so much cheaper at your hardware stores the moss that i use is right here okay. this stuff right here I'm getting focus this stuff right here this cost me five dollars and i use it on my riff i use it in my red foot tortoise my eastern box turtles and theirs and that's a while. It's just a fresh pack. I just five dollars from Home Depot. But I also use this, mix it in there. They love it. It's um, they are somewhat burgers. Like you see them burn themselves sometimes. But um, I mix all three of them together. They love it. Also, one of my nice size water bowl. They somewhat soak. They somewhat soak. But um, nice size water bowl that they could probably fit in. Now, my two elongated tortoises are acted between, see, I work night shift, but what I'm here doing, what I'm here at home doing the day, they active mainly in the morning between 9 to like probably 11, and then around 6 p.m. to probably 10. They real active walking around, investigating stuff. Also, they 
do hide somewhat. Like I find them, if I spot clean or make them sick and rearrange something, they, they'll go and find a new niche or something and bury themselves in, wedge themselves in. So they do somewhat do like to hide, but I see mine's active them, between them two times, between them two times during the day. Look at this stuff here. Let me get this. Five dollars. Um, when it comes to their diet, these turtles can eat. <clears throat> they don't move, not turtles. These tortoises can eat a range of all types of stuff. Um, they eat very, 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 very long list. But no, the um, elongated tortoises can eat. I'm gonna tell you what I fed mine. Mine's in a collard green, turnip green, the spring mix, mustard green, romaine lettuce, mango, papaya, pear, strawberry, apples. Also, they eat blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, bananas, the Missouri toilet dot, this stuff here. I buy it three pounds at a time. It lasts me about, about a month. But this stuff here. They love it. The tortoise and turtles think this stuff is like crack. They love it. But, um, I mean, of course, with the fruit and stuff, you don't want to give them all, like, big amounts of it. But, like, I, I switch it up. Like, I do this thing. Uh, when I switch out my fruit, for every two weeks, it's uh, probably two types of fruit they might get that I mix between all my turtles and tortoises. For two weeks, that would they eat and small portions or long portions but that way they eat I need to switch up my fruits but um, also they eat somewhat they also eat protein I might give them a pinky throw some mealworms some super worms some um, wax worms in there even give them some croc diet I, I actually found um, somebody that was selling croc diet um, they love that too but I mix it up for them but they eat a, 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 um, a range of different stuff just like um, box turtles so another, that's another reason. That's another thing I like about the elongated tortoises. Now, they also I decorate their tub with the let's help announce this plant right. The golden Plato, Plato, the vine plant. I called it my grandmother plant because almost everybody grandmother had these plants in their house. <laughs> but I decorate their tub with that. They seem to love it. They um they nibble on the leaves and also hide in it. That's another reason. Like, like I said, they love to hide. Um, like I said, um, that's about it for the elongated tortoises. Breeding wise, what I've read, almost like any other tortoise or turtle out there. Mine, of course, is no size to breed. But, um, when it comes to breeding them, what I've read and what I've seen, um, where they can breed almost any time of the year, but usually they breed around the fall time. Um, of course, the male chase the female, What the male don't chase the female, but, um, they lay up to three to five eggs in each clutch, and she will probably lay her eggs between, between May and October, and what else, that takes me about it, like, they breeding just like any other, they breeding just like any other tortoise or turtle, no real challenge but I can't wait to breed Romy and DW hopefully they're male or female I'm for sure that Romy is a male I know it's kind of hard to tell because he's still small but I'm pretty sure that Romy is a male now DW DW is way too little to tell way too little but this also DW is probably DW is my niece favorite. Just something about the black eyes. Hey buddy. Another weird fact, these two tortoises I got the same time. Months apart. Same age, but different sizes. That, that, that's crazy. I know. That's crazy. Two tortoises, same age, different size. Never seen that before in my life. But yeah, like I said, uh, 
I love one of my favorite, favorite tortoises out here, man. Like, y'all really do, really, really should invest in too long getting tortoises. One of my favorites. One of my favorite tortoises. Besides the red foot tortoise, which I get to later in a series, a creature feature. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, ah. Now, I soak my elongators twice a week. I soak them twice a week, usually Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Fridays. People say, who's supposed to do it every day? Do it. I do it twice a week. They're doing good. They soak themselves in their water bowl. So, um, another thing, they not, I mean, they're a tropical species, but they don't really like a lot of sunlight. They don't like that intense sun, sunlight, I'm saying it right. So, like I said, they tub is kind of shaded, but I got them stuff they can hide in between and squeeze in between, like I said, um, so, like, give them a nice UVB to heap up, they're good. Also, I'm thinking about putting an under, under, under mat heat heater got tongue twisted i'm thinking about adding that i ain't i'm not sure yet but i might still add it we about to get a one up here i'm just just see how they react to it they might i don't need freeze them freeze them at all but um you want to keep i would say try to keep they can stay between 90 to 95 degrees too me i i don't usually make it that hot for a while like i said 80 to 85 probably 90 in the summertime but i miss they tub down they seem to love it and they active. I read a couple places and saying they active in uh active in the morning and the afternoon evening or active. Like mine's Roman DW mainly active. I come in from work so eight, seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning, they walking around, moving around. I say from I'm gonna say eight to ten and probably I want to say 8 to 10 and probably like 7 to 9 when they really acting no more for walking around. And I feed my turtles and tortoises like 7 o'clock at night. I don't feed them late. You don't feed them. I feed them 6 7 o'clock in the evening. That's when I feed my turtles and tortoises. They come out. They see me come around with pick up their food dish. They know it's time to eat. And that's the most I see them acting. But I like, I love these. I love them longer than They got their own little personality. They're like little dugs. Little, little dug sometimes they recognize your recognize the keeper but i think that's any tortoise any tortoise species but one of my one of my favorite tortoises like the elongated tortoise not i mean growing and popular they starting to grow but like youtube you didn't see a lot of care videos about them you see camp cannon um camp cannon somebody else had a video about them. Can't think of it right or right top of my head, off the top of my head. But um, yeah, I, I felt like I had to make that was gonna be one of my first videos. Was gonna be on the elongated tortoise. And I know I probably missed some. Inf I know I, I know I probably missed some information. I've been working on this video for two weeks. But um, any comments, any remarks, anything I missed? Hey, feel free to leave them in the comments below on the YouTube. You can check me out at. Exotic Exchange on Facebook, on Instagram, you can find me at EXO Exchange 2020. Um, feel free to hit me up. I'll usually respond to your questions or any remarks, any comments. See you. See you hopefully in the following week. Like I said, I'm starting to try to hang this video editing. Hopefully, I can start popping out videos every week. Me and my niece, she wasn't here to help me. Well, she did help me on this video. She's just not here recording. But me and, me and my niece here pop out some animal videos. So see you next week, hopefully. Thank you.